today I am doing a video on drugstore makeup. I did the princess tag that was solely devoted to high-end makeup, which it's fun, it's expensive, it makes you feel fancy, but when you get down to it, drugstore makeup is the way to go. It's inexpensive. There are some amazing, amazing finds at the drugstore. And I am here today with lipstick on my teeth to show you some of those special little products. Do it in the same format that I did the princess tag, which if you didn't see that, I will link it below. I'm going to start with foundation. And the likely choice would have been my L'Oreal True Match. This has been my favorite foundation forever. But there is a new love in my life from the drugstore, and it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. So this has a primer, a concealer, and a foundation. And I have this on today. 95% of the products that I'm talking about I have on today. I am falling deeply in love with this foundation. I got this months ago, probably in the spring. I wore it one time and I was like, eh, it's all right. And I packed it away and I pulled it out, I would say like 10 days ago and holy shit, I really, really like this foundation. Full coverage, like one layer and you have a flawless face. It covers so well. It just blends in nicely. It didn't cling to this dry patch that I have on my forehead. I just love the way that my skin looks right now. I think it looks really good. It's not too matte but it, it definitely is a more matte finish. Now, I still put concealer on, but I didn't put any primer on. This poor little thing has been sitting in my drawer, and if I would have known my skin was gonna look this good, I would have pulled this puppy out months ago. Okay, next for concealer, I have a few things to show so you. So the first thing is my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Pen. It is getting very, very low. This is in the shade Nude, and it just has a brush on the end, and you click the pen. So, oh, wrong end. I put this on under my eyes in like the triangle shape and I just pat it in with my fingers and it just brightens your under eye area and makes you look awake and alive and just ready to take on the world. The other one that I want to show you guys is Maybelline Fit Me. This is probably my most favorite drugstore concealer. A lot of shades to choose from and I don't know what it is about this little doe foot applicator that just gets me. It it blends out so easily. There is no, like, you don't have to work at it to get it to blend in. It just kind of, just like soaks in. And it covers anything under your eyes that you need it to cover. It just blends out so easily. It doesn't ever look cakey. It doesn't crease on me. This is tops for me, concealer wise. Okay, so for powder, I have my Rimmel Stay Matte, and I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and be like, I use this every day, it's the greatest thing ever. I don't use powder very often other than my Urban Decay one, but I used this one today, and after I used it, I was like, damn, that really looks good. Why have I not used this in like a month? It's very inexpensive. It feels really just soft, and it feels much more expensive than it actually is. So a very good basic powder for setting your foundation. I put it under my eyes to set my concealer. It doesn't ever have that thick like powder look to it. It's very thin and like I said, it definitely feels much more expensive than it actually is. For bronzer, this is my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. It looks like that and I think this is my favorite drugstore bronzer. This is the one that I've been using the most. It's a very good, just everyday bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's matte. It goes on just effortlessly. I have it on today. I just put a tiny bit on to kind of warm up my face. I really like it. I think that the packaging is very cute. It's it doesn't ever give me that like muddy look that even high-end bronzers sometimes give me, especially my NARS Laguna. Every time I wear that lately, I feel like I look really like muddy. I think this would work for all skin tones. I can wear this in the winter when I'm not quite as tan, and it works just as well in the summer, so I like it. Oh, dang it. Why do these things always happen to me? For blush, I have my e.l.f. Tickled Pink. 
I adore this blush so much. I have it on today and every time I put this blush on, I just like, oh, it looks so good. There's no shimmer in it, it's matte. It's kind of a mix between like pink and peach. And I don't know, the only thing I can really tell you is it is dirt cheap. I think it's $3 and it's, it's just easy. I think I have like five e.l.f. blushes and they are all just such good quality for such a low price. E.l.f. blush is the bee's knees. For eyeshadow palettes, or just eyeshadow in general, this is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. And, oh God, look, oh, sorry. Um, These shadows are so beautiful and I will swatch a few of them for you. I'll swatch everything that is on the top part to you guys. So everything that is on top is right there. I mean, look how pigmented these shadows are. And I barely even touch them. Wet n Wild does such amazing eyeshadows. I have so many of their 8 p.m. palettes. I have some of the 6 p.m. palettes that they used to do. Definitely my most favorite eyeshadows at the drugstore come from Wet n Wild. They are inexpensive. This 8 p.m. palette is $4.00. And the quality is so good. Wet n Wild kicks ass with eyeshadow. For mascara, do we even have to go there? I mean, really, do we even have to go there? I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it long, I promise. Jordana Best Lash Extreme, this is the only mascara that I use. Um, for my loyal, faithful subbies, you guys are probably like, son of a bitch, she found a way to slide that dang mascara into another video. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I am going to say, this is the best mascara, and you wouldn't know it just by looking at it. It's very, like, subdued, and it just looks like a $3 mascara, pretty much. This will make your lashes longer than any other mascara that you have ever tried in your entire life. Mart, Walgreens, get in your car and go buy one because you will die. Your life will not be the same. Very quickly, I wanted to mention the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I meant to do this when I was talking about eyeshadow, but I kind of forgot. Um, they are amazing. This one is called With a Twist, and it is this gorgeous, like, iridescent purple. This is the main color that I use when I do a purple smoky eye and it just, oh my god. This one right here is called Amber Rush and it is a gorgeous rose gold. They are so incredibly pigmented. They're almost like a pressed pigment and oh, they're just gorgeous, amazing. I, I could not do a drugstore video without mentioning these. Okay, let's talk lips. So for lipstick, this was so easy. The Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks. I have three of them right here. This is my most favorite one. This is Primrose. It is a gorgeous, everyday nude pink color. It's a little bit more pink than it is nude. Really creamy and they, again, they feel like high-end lipsticks. This one is Pink Cognito, and this is a really pretty nude color. And then the last one, which I actually have on today on top of another color, this is Rich Girl Red. And this one is very nice because you can put it on very lightly and just get like a wash of color or you can put it on a little bit heavier and get a really bright red lip and they just, they feel really good. Oh God, somebody punched me right now because I'm getting a little excitable. Every word that I can think of, I love, love, love these and they feel like a high-end lipstick. For lip gloss, I chose my Chroma Beauty glosses. This is Orange Blossom Honey and Raw Honey. Oh my God, I almost just took my eye out with that. Did you see that? It was like... So I love these. I think Chroma Beauty is drugstore, right? They sell it at CVS. These are really, really nice. I really like the color and the consistency of them, but I hate the way that they smell. They smell like honey, and not good honey. It's like bad honey. But the quality of the lip gloss is so nice that I can get past the stinky ass smell. I'm just swatching these for you. So can you guys see them right there? This is Orange Blossom Honey and then this is Raw Honey. Raw Honey looks so beautiful over a nude lip. It just adds this little bit of like 
not shimmer, but just like sheen. Yeah, these are, they make me, they make me want to do some baby smacking. For, for highlighter, I have Hard Candy Tiki, and this little baby is quite exciting. I have it on today. Here, let me see if I can get a, oh yeah, look at that baby. Can you guys see that? This one reminds me a lot of, let me grab it, my Lorac highlighter in, what is this called? Luminous. I mean, look at that. They are pretty much the same color, and this one is like triple the price. I like this one because it's very like baked and you don't get any fallout from it. It's $8 at Walmart. Beautiful highlighter. Oh the last thing that I'm going to talk about is nail polish. Hands down, the best nail polishes at the drugstore are from Sally Hansen and they are the Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Pacific Blue. Oh my god, I actually have it on right now. It is the most gorgeous color. This line of polishes, yes, this line right here, they're like $2.50 or $3. The quality is so good. They're really buttery soft. They're Most of them are totally opaque in two coats. If you have not tried this line of nail polishes, you have to. I think I have like 25 bottles from this line and every single one of them is just amazing. Really, really, really good nail polish. Get a little excited, settle down girl. All right guys, so that is it for my drugstore makeup something or other, who knows what this video shall be called. Let me know what your favorite drugstore products are. You guys give me the best ideas and suggestions for new products, so keep them coming because I love them. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Jack, no.